Hey y'all, out at uh, B-Rod and Customs, and uh, Larry's invited me out here to uh, shoot a couple of uh, street rides he's got. One is uh, one that he's working on, and one is a uh, pickup truck that he's got done. So let me run him down, and uh, we'll get these things started. Larry, how are you, brother? Hey, Scotty. Good to see you again, yeah, buddy. Yeah, it's good to see you, too. Yeah, tell, tell me a little bit about this hot rod you got. Oh, man. Got another cool car out of B-Rod. It's a uh, 1941 Ford pickup truck. It runs a 350 Chevy and, and a 350 Turbo automatic. Kind of basic old hot rod, but just one of the slickest bodies that you'll ever see on any pickup truck. How long ago did y'all build this one? We finished this about three years ago, and the guy took it home and never drove it. No kidding. And so I called him uh, two weeks ago and just to check on him and see how the car was. And he said, well, I haven't had time to take it anywhere. And so I asked permission, and he let me take it to a, a local car show, and it's still up here. All right. Well, thank goodness for that. Yeah. Gives me a chance to look at it. Yeah. Where's the truck out? Is it out of Tennessee? It's out of Clinton, Tennessee. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's a really neat car. Let's take a look at it. What's the color on it? It's a custom mix by us. It's kind of a copperish red. That's one thing that we do here is we, we will give a, uh, a customer a custom color. So this isn't one that you can go and buy off the shelf? No, sir. Although we do write a formula for it, so that if he scratches it, we can right repair it. get back to normal. Yes. But now that you say there's kind of a copper coat, yeah, you're, yeah, I see it. It's hard to see, but you do see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it, the pearl. Right. And uh, what product is it? Is it PPG color or no, I mean it's a Dupont? Dupont. I'm a Dupont shop. I got you. So everything we look at out here has got a Dupont product on it. Yes, sir. And, and it has nothing to do with the quality, uh, DuPont quality versus PPG quality, but I feel like that uh, you should concentrate on one brand and you'll be better at, at doing the work and you have a better rapport with the company. Right. No, most definitely. Yeah, make a contact, stick with it, get used to their product, how it works, and all that kind of stuff. Yes. Now, have you made any changes to this truck? Obviously, you have. Tell me, tell me some of the changes that have been made to it. Well, to start with, we threw away the chassis and put a brand new Pete and Jake chassis under it. It's fully independent front suspension. Uh, it does have a Posey slide uh, rear, rear spring on it. Uh, it's got coilovers up front, uh, but the body is basically stock. Huh. Now, we had to do a lot of work to make this thing look like it is right uh, to start with the hoods never fit the pickup trucks so this is some of our magic where we cut and slice and dice to give fit and finish now you're are you talking just about the gap or did the they gap. yeah the gaps uh the ability to open the hood without touching the, the truck without scratching it. right oh that's beautiful and is that an injected car or a carburetor car? It's a carbureted truck. Cool. Have you dynoed the motor? Mm, no, sir. No. I haven't done a thing. It really hasn't even been driven since it's been built. Nah, it's got 300 miles on it. Just just enough to shake the bugs out. Right. Uh, I think it's dependable. Uh, but uh, the owner needs to drive it, not me, because... If I was to put a rock chip on it, right. I'm responsible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you'd rather get paid to fix it than you would to fix it for free, eh? Yes, sir. <laughs> now, that firewall, is that the way it was, or did y'all smooth that out? No, we, we smoothed it out. We actually made a new firewall. Okay. Um, and we modified a set of inner fenders so that they would fit the, the, uh, the later model suspension. It has tilt wheel. It's rack and pinion. Now there's some little cutouts on that firewall. Is there a purpose for those? Yes, sir. That's so that the distributor and the valve covers will fit. You have to set the engines back in these street rods to, to put a larger V8 in. Oh, okay. Uh, so we moved it back. 
Uh, everything fits nice and, and clean. No, it's and very tight. clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very and clean. This is one of the cars that, that we build that I feel is dependable enough to drive. Right. Just like our Corvette, the gray Corvette Lydia. Right. It just got back from a trip. Uh, well, it went to Bloomington, uh, Illinois for the Corvette show. But he drove it to Alabama and hauled it and brought it back to Alabama and then drove it back to Knoxville. Man, a lot. I can't believe he gets out and drives that car like that. It's a beautiful car. That's what they're for. I understand that. But, man, it's just such a beautiful car, you know. Mm -hmm. I like those wheels on it, too. What kind of wheels are those? The Boyds? Those are Boyds. Yeah. And then it's been lowered? Yes, sir. Well, that's, we did that with the new chassis. Okay. We ordered the chassis to get the ride power we want. And then is that one of them, when you say a chassis, is it kind of like the one y'all make? No. No, it's a full frame. Uh, that has the all suspension components bolted to it, as well as the brake pedal, the Powermaster cylinder. Um, but yet it's got the mounting points so that you bolt the cab and the bed in the original position. Okay. Now this is Steve Holcomb interior. Okay. That's beautiful. I love how he puts that suede in there. Yeah. It's got a suede headliner in it too. Yes, it does. Yeah. Man, it still smells new. Well, it must be nice to be able to build a street rod like this and have so much going on. You only have time to drive it. I don't know if that's good or not. To be honest with you. I, I don't know. I'm just glad that I have customers like him. No doubt about that. I like that carpet too. I like the whole trunk. Now, when I saw this car at the show, I told Larry, I said, I got to get out there and shoot that one. That's really neat. And those front windows, do they open? No, sir. No. Would have they opened back then? No. No. What kind of wood is that in the back? That's oak. It's nice. That's white oak that has doesn't have any stain. It's just got clear polyurethane on it with stainless steel strips and bolts. Right. And you keep the gas tank in the same spot. A lot of times they're in the bed. I don't see it. No, no, it's in the original position. In position. Yeah. I love that tailgate too. That is cool. That's original too. That's an original tailgate. Lots and lots of massaging went into making this truck so straight because it was used as a truck. Right. When you got it? Yes. It was rough shape. It was rough. Yeah. And I like how these lines are in the back around the tailgate. You know what I'm saying? It's uh even up there in front, it's not just straight and square because, again, back then, you know, you build a truck to build a truck, right? Right, but that, that's original. Yeah, yeah. It just amazes me they took the time to do that. They did that for strength. Anytime you stamp a piece of metal, it makes it stronger. Right. Man. Oh, yeah, there's the gas tank. No, Larry, I really like this one. I've come to expect top-notch work from y'all, but um, it still amazes me every time I see it. Now, I like the old-timey gauges in it. I mean, it's got a little bit of billet work done there, but still, the gauges are kind of off-white color and, uh, you know, not too, not too over the top, but... Beautiful. Let me stand back and get a walk around on this whole thing. Is it going to be at any shows out there? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Alright. Yeah, like I said, I've never even seen this one at Clinton Highway or anything. Did y'all custom make that front bumper? Yes, sir, we did. That's called a Nerf bar. Right. That's what they call them on four-wheelers, too. Huh. 
Well, Larry, as always, I appreciate you giving me a time to come out and shoot this one. Well, Scotty, there's one thing I want to close out with to yeah, show you sure. on this car that makes it so special. Okay. All right. The 1941 Ford truck is basically, the body is the same as a 40. Okay. However, there's one distinctive feature that you never find, and I very seldom you'll find a customer that's willing to repair if they have the old part. And it's this, and I want you to look at the perfection in this chrome work. That's fancy, isn't it? This is uh, uh, this was rebuilt at uh, Advanced Plating in Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah. And you can't buy these; these are not reproduced. And nine out of ten of them are pitted beyond use or broke. Right. Advanced Plating does a nice job. They do. They do all the uh, chrome work for Gibson guitars, too. Yes. Isn't that cool? I saw that this year in Nashville. Yeah. Doing some of it. Yeah, no, uh, Holcomb introduced me to the guy, and uh, he was telling me that, and I thought to myself, wow, if you had that contact, if that was something that you did, it seemed like you wouldn't have time to do anything else, but he still does street rides. And uh, oh, yeah. now, folks, if you're looking for a top-notch chroming job, Advanced Plating man, in Nashville, they'll do it for you. So... Well, brother, again, thanks so much. All right. Thanks, guys. Uh -huh. Folks, there you go. Street Ride Ford pickup truck from B-Rod and Customs. Hope you all enjoyed it. See you. Have a good day.